Speech can take many forms. For example, words can be written down. A thought or idea can be posted online and someone else can like it. And as we all know, a picture is worth a thousand words. Every new means of communication is a powerful new tool for connection and likewise, a dangerous new weapon of potential lush and hara. In every way that we speak, we have to watch what we say, whether with plain old spoken words or digital era technology and media. Some 21st century examples of lush and hara include posting a picture or video of someone that would embarrass them even if you are also in it, liking or posting a smiley face in response to such a post, forwarding something hurtful or harmful even without adding a comment. Germany Kent, award-winning print and broadcast journalist said, tweet others the way you want to be tweeted. Think about it. In the old days, even a nasty rumor would only make it as far as the edge of the shtetl. Today, in milliseconds, digital lush and hara can make it all the way around the globe. How many real people do you speak to during a normal day? A dozen? Two dozen? Compare that with your online interactions. How many people read things that you share on social media, email, and WhatsApp? A hundred? Two hundred? The smartphone in every one of our hands is like a weapon of mass Loshanhara destruction. Daily to do. Before you hit send or post, think to yourself, how would I feel if this post were about me? My name is Rhonda Cohn, and I'm keeping it clean.